Well, we turn to the results of a massive police investigation involving illegal drugs and firearms. It led to multiple arrests and seizures worth millions of dollars. CTV's Beth McDonnell has more on what's been dubbed Project Moffat. Ontario Provincial Police called the seizure shocking. On the table, enough fentanyl for more than 120,000 doses with a street value of $3.6 million. Cocaine worth $2.5 million, more than 260,000 methamphetamine tablets and 29 firearms. Sadly, communities that are being impacted by illicit drug trafficking are also being affected by illegal firearms. Deadly weapons are used to broaden and secure drug trafficking networks. This is achieved through violence and intimidation, and increasingly innocent civilians are too often caught in the crossfire. It's a big haul off the streets. Partnering with officers in York Region, Peel Region, Barrie and Ottawa, the OPP say Project Moffat removed $8 million of illegal drugs and deadly weapons out of circulation. We as law enforcement send a message to anyone participating in trafficking deadly drugs or weapons. You are not welcome in our communities. The large investigation began this past April when police learned of three different crime groups, one in the GTA, the other two in central and northeastern Ontario. The investigation culminated on July 18th and 19th when the OPP executed 14 search warrants in nine communities across Ontario and another two at correctional facilities in Milton and Kingston. It saddens me to think that some offenders have such blatant disregard for the law that they're willing to continue to commit crimes even while serving time in custody. In all, 23 men and women faced 387 charges because of the investigation. Police say the majority of the criminal activity is in the GTA and is connected to street gangs. They're particularly concerned about the speed at which guns are purchased and smuggled across the Canada-U.S. border and the number of accused who are on some type of parole. When it comes to the opioid crisis, they say people in the north are being hit especially hard because of fewer supports, but are far from alone in seeing a profound impact. In fact, Barrie had the third highest rate of opioid-related deaths amongst Ontario's large cities in which more than half of the deaths were young adults between the ages of 20 and 44 years. Police say untangling criminal networks will save lives. Beth McDonnell, CTV News.